Hello and welcome to Windows Business Weekly. My name is Russell Smith and today I'm going to show you how you can use Microsoft Office absolutely for free. There are two ways that you can use Microsoft Office for free, absolutely legally on Windows 10 or any computer, in fact, that has access to a compatible browser. The first way is to use the Office app that comes pre-installed with Windows 10. And the second, as I said, is just to open up any browser and go to office.com. So let's head over to the PC and I'm going to show you exactly how that works right now. So the first way is to use the Office app that comes installed with, with Windows 10. In order to access the app, all you need to do is type Office into the search box and you'll see Office app there appears in the list of results. So I'm just going to click on the app to open it. And you can see now that I have two options, either to sign in or to create a free account. Now, to use Office for free, you're going to need a Microsoft account. And the chances are that you might already have one. So if you use, I don't know, Skype or Hotmail or Outlook.com, you'll already have a Microsoft account and you can use that to sign in. If you don't, then just hit create a free account and follow through the steps to create a new account. Now, I already have an account set up, so I'm going to click straight away sign in. And I've already signed in with the account once, so it's already listed there. Now, if you haven't signed into the app, it will just ask you to type the email address of the account. That's all you have to do. So I'm going to use one that's already there. So Russell Smith 100 at Outlook.com I'm using for testing. And I'm just going to click continue. Now, of course, it'll also ask you for the password if you've never used the account on this device before. But because I've already used it, it goes straight into the application. Now you can see there a list of recent documents and the Office app, it will show you recent documents that you've opened from your personal OneDrive cloud or recent documents that have been opened from the local PC as well. And if you have a look on the left hand side, you can see that I have access here to all of the common Office applications like Word, Excel, PowerPoint and OneNote, etc. So let's click on Word, and you can see here that we have several different options. So I can create a fresh document, or I can use one of the templates listed, or click here on More Templates, and I can use any of these templates to create a new document. But I'm going to create a blank document. So let's just take a couple of seconds. And you can see there that I'm now being redirected to the browser window. And this will open Word, the web application for Word in the browser. And there we go. So I can type here, maybe I'm going to write a novel, the start of time. I can change the name of the document here. So let's call it the start of time. Okay, and that's done. And you can see that the ribbon interface here looks pretty much like it does in the Word desktop, desktop application. You've got most of the important features there. So you've got all of the editing features on the Home tab. You can insert different uh, objects like pictures, and you can also add comments here. You've also got the option to review documents, so you can turn on to track changes. You can also add comments. And you've also got the editor feature that was recently added to both the web versions and the desktop versions of Microsoft Word. OK, so let's come back to the Office app. And you can see if I click on Excel, we've got a similar story here. I can either create a new workbook or I can create one from a template or I can open up something that I've recently been working on. If you come back to the home page, you can see that I've also got the option here to upload and open a document. So maybe if I have a document on my desktop here, and this is a Word document, I can upload this and open it 
in the web version of Word as well. If I want to do the exact opposite, if I want to save a, a document that I'm editing in one of the web applications to my local PC, all I need to do here is come to File, click Save As, and download a copy. So I'm just going to click Download a copy here, give that a few seconds, and you can see here I now have the option to download it in the browser window, and I'm going to save that to my desktop. And of course, it's called the start of time. And there you go. And you see that the document has finished downloading. Now, not all of the features that you find in the desktop apps are available, of course, in the Office web apps. So if you want advanced features like recording macros, that kind of stuff is not going to be available. But there are some features that only appear in the web apps and not the desktop apps. So it is kind of a bit of swings and roundabouts with deciding which of the features that you need and where they're going to be available. But for most people, I would imagine that most of the features that you would want to access, you will find them in the web apps and they work just in the same way as they do in the desktop. Now, Microsoft are adding uh, new features to the web apps all of the time. So if you think that, well, the functionality there isn't good enough for me, you might be surprised. And I would uh, encourage you to check them out and to see uh, exactly what features are there. And if you want to request a new feature, you can always send feedback to Microsoft. There's a give feedback to uh, Microsoft button right down in the bottom right hand corner you can see here. And you can just say which features you want added and Microsoft will add them if there's enough demand, of course, from other users as well. Now, if I come back to the Office app here and I click on PowerPoint, let's start a new PowerPoint presentation. We just let that open up in the browser window and take a few seconds. OK, and you can see there that we can open a new PowerPoint and we can basically do all sorts of things here, uh, just like we would in the desktop application. And you can actually see features like uh, rehearse with a coach we have here that you don't get in the desktop app, for instance. So there are some features that are only available here on the web. So as I said before, it's possible to do all of what I just showed you completely in the browser without the Office app. So if you're, I don't know, using a Linux device or a Windows 7 dev device where you don't have access to that app, all you need to do is open a browser window, type office.com. Then here I'm going to sign in. OK, I could also get Office, which would require me to subscribe to one of the Microsoft 365 plans and pay for it. But I don't want to do that. I'm just going to sign in. Not going to use that account. I'm going to use my Russell Smith account that you saw before. So I'm going to sign in with that. Because I've already used that account on this device before, it's not asking me for the password this time. But as you can see here, it looks pretty much the same as the Office app. So I can either install the Office uh, applications if I have access to them through a subscription, or I can buy a subscription if I want. Uh, I, want. I don't want to do that. I just want to use everything for free. I can create a new Word document here. So you can see here, let's create a new document. And again, it opens up in the browser window, just like it did from the office.com app. And there you go. Of course, it looks exactly the same. And just wait for that to load. There we go. So I can just test this. Is it actually working? Can we type something? Yes, we can. I can highlight it. Even we get these little dialogue boxes and things pop up exactly like you do in the applications for the desktop. And go review here, for instance. I can add a comment. Let's review this. Okay. 
and even things like co-authoring so you can co collaborate on documents at the same time as other users also work in the web apps. So you can have this document open with another user somewhere else on their own PC and they can type and see what's going on all at the same time in real time, if you like, at the same time. So that's it. There's two ways that you can access Microsoft Office perfectly legally with no costs. All of those apps and lots of productivity options available there, not just Excel, Word, PowerPoint. You've got things like To Do and Sway, uh, Teams as well. All those things you can access. Okay, that's it from me uh, and see you next time.